hello a plus traders welcome again to our youtube channel i this is for the pro traders course members so today we are going to look at components for building the perfect trading plan uh, my name is anibit asa and as you all know i am not a forex guru i'm just a trader and also a coach i'm not a guru so in this particular tutorial we are going to cover the um, things you need to consider and how you need to write up your trading plan so it be very simple and clear and straightforward in such a way that even if a child of seven years old picks it up and read will actually understand what you are writing down and take action based on what you have written down so uh, let's start straight up but if you are not yet subscribed to this youtube channel kindly do that so that if we update a new video or a new tutorial you will be updated so we start with the first thing you need to consider when building the perfect trading plan number one is skill assessment you need to define your trading strategy you need to define also your time frames now apart trading strategy you don't need to pick some complicated strategy you don't need to work some with so many trading indicators or um, trading tools you just need to pick a few of them and work with that and how can you find a trading strategy it's simple or you just need to do look for an already proven um trading strategy and technique then tweak it to fit your personality tweak it to f to fit your trading strategy uh, trading style too so you just need a little tweaking for example you can pick train train trading or channel trading or you can you can take a a uh, swing trading like tra uh, trading within the ranges so anyone that you are okay with that you are very very comfortable with you pick it they make some tweaking to it like you change one or two things or you add one or two things and keep make sure to keep it simple then define your trading time frames you don't you don't want to be trading all the time frames so based on your trading personality or your trading style you can define you can set maybe two of uh, two to four time frames which you will be working with you which you will be doing your analysis on for example me as a swing trader i work with the four hour the daily the weekly then sometimes i head to the one hour time frame just to fine tune my entry so let's say you're a day trader so you work with the four hour the one hour and the 15 minute time frame or 30 minute time frame you pick one of those two so it's that simple define your trading strategy and also define your trading time frames don't forget if you fail to plan you are planning to fail next thing is mental preparation how do you prepare before trading these are the questions you ask yourself before jumping to the charts to trade and also when you are writing your trading plan how do you feel are you having headaches are your eyes itching you are you feeling feverish if you answer yes to any of these questions then you should forget about trading that day one then that means you're not in the right state of mind to write your trading plan too now did you get enough sleep at night if you are not emotionally and psychologically ready to battle in the market it is better to take the day off it's that simple so you to avoid trading losses or losing your heart and um, money avoid trading when you are not sound let's say maybe your wife or maybe your fiance uh, made you angry and you are so mad at her or him so just stay off the market that day because you are bound to make some trading errors make sure you stay off the chat if you are not emotionally or psychologically sound for the day now pro traders have a market mantra 
the repeat before the day begins to get them ready create that one and put that puts you in the trading zone now um i know very well that majority of retail traders trade from homes they trade from their house some don't have an office uh, like me I, I don't have an office we're in the digital world so i'm very very um reluctant and i'm feeling lazy having an office like who does that in this digital world and besides we are making money online so do you really need an office so i trade from home but i don't sleep on my couch or on my bed when i'm trading because it doesn't put you uh, it doesn't make you feel like you're in an office or you are ready for serious business so for me i have a trading index in my house i have a trading index so when i wake up and i'm done with my normal morning routine i go straight to my trading index and i sit there and that is where i sit down to make my trading decision then you'll be very very sound and clear you take away distractions no tv screens showing telemundo or showing z or showing um which other channel showing um <laughs> okay super sports for those that love football super sports or um, okay music sometimes helps but it depends on the type of music so you need to put yourself in a very very good environment you need to avoid distractions you don't you don't need to be trading and um be you don't you don't want to be on the chat and your maybe your baby or your child just comes in and start playing around distracting you and you'll be turning and say junior stop that before you come back you have placed a trade you know without considering or factoring in everything you need to you need to check before you enter a trade so you need to be mentally prepared if you're not emotionally or psychologically sound stay out of trading for the day that is it then the next things you need to look at is the risk level you need to set your risk level how much of your portfolio should you risk on a trade now this depends on your trading style your personality and also your risk tolerance we are all different if let's make it this way i may lose um hundred dollar and i will very very pain like i will feel bitter for losing that hundred dollar but if you lose that same hundred dollar you may not feel pain the way i am feeling you know so we are all different so try to figure out your risk tolerance how much will you lose and it won't make you, it won't break you down it won't it won't wear you down so when you know the amount then you need to how should i put it? you need to balance it up with your trading capital then from there you'll be able to know how much to risk to risk pay trade let's say for example you have a one thousand dollar account and you know if you should lose hundred dollar you are going it's going to weigh you down that means your risk tolerance is ten percent and when trading you make sure your total equity risk do not exceed eight or ten percent now let's say you have a two thousand dollar account and if you should lose let's say four hundred dollar of that two thousand dollar and you don't feel pain you don't feel bitter that you lost money that means your risk um, appetite or risk tolerance is twenty percent and that means you can also risk as high as three percent of your trading equity per position so this is how you can gauge your risk tolerance and know how much you should risk for a particular trade or on total equity risk per day if you're a day trader i hope you understand my explanation but if you don't understand i'm available for you on whatsapp so you send me a message on whatsapp and i will give you more explanation all right i'm here to help you next you need to do to get that perfect trading plan is to set goals you see trading goals trading goals yeah before you enter a trade set realistic profitable targets and risk to reward ratio 
if you're a day trader it's not realistic for you to um, take a trade of one is to seven like for god's sake how long will it take before it reaches that target so set realistic trading goals if you're a day trader your risk to reward ratio should be one is to two one is to three Swing traders can go as far as one is to four, one is to five because you are looking at holding this position for mid term. Then, if you're a long term investor or um, a long term trader, you can do one is to ten, one is to seven, one is to eight because you are ready to wait your whole lifetime <laughs> for trade to manifest and actually move in your direction. Now you need to also know your the minimum risk to reward you will accept in trading. Then you write it down. So let's say for example you want to be trading a minimum of one is to three. You also write it down in your trading plan that you if a trade does not meet up the risk to reward of one is to three, you are not going to take that trade. It's as simple as that. Then you have to set weekly, monthly, annual profit goals either in dollars or percentage of your portfolios then if you are a day trader you need to set daily goals too so it's that simple so when you set these goals you also make it reflect on your trading plan that these are my goals i want to make so so, so percent of my accounts every day or i want to make x number of my accounts weekly or monthly with this you, your mind will be very very clear and open while you are trading and also make sure you are not fixing goals that will push you to the wall that will put you on pressure for example you are looking at uh, making 50 percent of your account in three days it is possible everything is possible in trading but that is not a realistic goal i hope you understand my explanation there then trade preparation before the market opens check what is going on around the world what um, economic or earnings data is due out and when and create a watch list also this is really for day traders now when you wake up you pray to god if you're a christian or even if you're not a christian but you just do your normal um, morning rituals before you look at the chart look at what the global economy looks like what's happening in us what's happening in russia what's happening in germany what's happening in italy what's happening in uh, dubai just what's happening in china you know just look at what's happening in all these countries now relate it to how it will affect that country's economy it's just like doing a little fundamental analysis then you also look at the economic um, calendars which uh, news release are ready for this day or for this week now when you do this this gives you a head start on what pace you should be looking at to trade for the day or for the week then after this this is when you now create a watch list like personally me i have a watch list of five to six pairs per week and most times i notice that uh, by the end of the week i don't even trade all the six or five watch list currency pairs on my watch list i take maybe two or three of them because i'm a swing trader so as a day trader you need to be creating creating this watch list every day as far as you are waking up and you want to trade you must create that watch list at least on or before 9 to 10 a.m each day so when you create this watch list all you just need to do maybe you go on your mt4 you open the 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 currency the currency or the stocks you want to trade just place them on your on your mt4 and monitor them so until they reach a particular set level where you want to maybe pull your trigger that is when you pull a trigger that is when you enter the trade so you create the watch list and you focus and observe what is happening there before you make a final decision but this watch list needs to be created before market opens that is why immediately i do my weekly forecast on sundays and publish it 
on Mondays, I'm always on the chat between the hours of 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. I'm always on the chat, making sure I'm scanning for um, threads which I will put on my watch list for the week. And these are the threads I take for the week. I also wanted to know that index six index features are a good way of gauging market mode before the market opens. Now, I don't know if you know about indexes, but all currencies have index. Like we have the dollar index, we have the euro index, the pound index, the yen index, the NZD index. The eight major currencies all have indexes. And if you can't find them on trading view, you can use them on live forex. Life forest brokers they have all these indexes there that is what i used to check on my index now the the trend on these indexes gives you a a clue on or gives you how should i put it what is the word to know i don't even know the word to use right now but it gives you a clue on how a particular currency will perform during the day or during the week so just like you do your normal technical analysis and fundamental analysis on other currency pairs, you can do the same for this index features. Then it helps and guides you to gauge how strong a particular currency will be during a certain time, a, day, a period of uh, 24 hours, maybe a period of um, months, or maybe a period of week, a week also. So this can also serve as your currency strength meter next is set exit rules talking about exits we don't just look at stop loss but also profits mental stops don't count in trading if you like doing like okay i don't want to use stop loss when price reaches this particular level i'll close the trade my friend i'm telling you you will not close that trade rather you will hold the trade until it blows off your account this is what majority and most retail traders fail because we don't have a huge trading capital to hold trades for a long time for god's sake you have a hundred dollar account you have a two hundred dollar account and you take and you took a trade of 0 0.03 loss size and it's moving against you over 200 pips and you're still holding the trade what for that is why you need a stop loss so you need to predetermine your stop loss and your take profits before even entering a trade and you place them so if you should work and maybe if you should check on your chart and price takes you out on stop loss it's part of the game loss is part of the game move on get over it and move on don't try to do a revenge trading it won't work so you set your exit rules and take profit for example you can say okay fine my stop loss will be between 50 to 150 pips that is if you are a swing trader 50 to 150 pips on this trade so if you see a trade setup and it exceeds this range in pips you don't take that trade because it's against your trading plan same with your same with your take profit okay so if you are dead if you are dead trader you can say okay fine my stop loss will be between um, 25 pips to 50 pips because on an average the market moves between 100 to 50 pips in a day so if your stop loss or your take profit is over 60 pips how are you sure price will reach your your determined uh, destination before the end of the day so you need to find a way and time better time your entries and also reduce your stop losses and your take profits too i hope you understand my explanation on this but in case you don't understand i'm available for, for you on whatsapp come to me i'm waiting for you because i want you to succeed i want you to succeed in trading i want you to make profit so if you don't understand come to me i know so many people that go through this tutorial and they don't practice they don't take any action so is there anything you don't know and you don't understand come to me on whatsapp i will attend to you except it's not within the scope of our training and i'll tell you it's not within the scope of our training it's as simple as that i'm always straightforward you guys know all right so we look at entry rules <laughs> don't mind me i'm just getting crazy but i'm serious all right so set entry rules now you need to create a check a checklist uh some traders use um, use a combination of rsi macd candlestick formation moving averages and so me personally i use um, 
MACD to find my divergence and RSI and candlesticks. So you need to create this checklist and say, okay, fine. If price should um, arrive my um, support zone, I want to see a bullish reversal candle and I want to see maybe a RSI at the bottom and I want to see a divergence. So if these three things, if these three things does not ha appear when price is at um, your support zone, you don't take that trade. So it's as simple as that. Let's say maybe out of the three, only one, you only see candlestick um, move formation so you need to wait for the two to confirm if they don't confirm you don't take the trade if they meet up that criteria you take the trade it's as simple as that now some some use moving average crossover too now the reason i don't use moving average crossover on my chart is because i already have the moving average on my macd so there's no point using macd crossover and also using a moving average crossover you are clouding the chart and it will confuse you the more so when you keep things simple you make things better for you in trading i did a tutorial on macd right and how you can use it to better time your entries if you really want to know how you can use macd and also time your entries go look at that tutorial it's it's here on the pro traders course okay so create an entry checklist so before you enter a trade you look at it and see if price actually meet all these criteria before you take a trade this works for day traders swing traders and um, long-term investors except you are a scalper this will not work for you if you are a scalper this won't work for you because you don't have the luxury of the time to be doing all this checklist and the rest of them so the next thing on your trading plan you should re keep an excellent record journal or your trades now uh, you can when you can create a a Microsoft Excel sheet or a Google Excel sheet and you have rows for target entries exit um, the time which you took the trade your loss size the trade setup if it was a, a falling wage or the different market structures then you record your um, comments about why you made the trade and lessons learned now this will help you track your progress this will help you track your progress so you can do this manually but if you're a lazy trader like me you can use my fx book to record your trades so you can sign up on my fx book then there's where you have you click on the menu there's where you have portfolio so you click on portfolio you link your trading accounts to them and any trade you take on you in that your trading account it will be recorded automatically on that my fx book account for you so this will make it easy for you to review your trading plan and strategy at least every three months you now look at it and say okay fine this these are all my trades these are my losing trades these are my winning trades why did i have so many winning trades like this was it because of so 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 um so 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 setup i saw or was it my the loss size i used like you just um review everything then from there this will help you make your trading strategy perfect make your entries and exit strategy also perfect so your trust your trading plan should be reviewed at least every three months if you can't do it three months do it six months okay review your trading plan make sure things are in order things are working out well and all this should be included in your trading plan so i've shared with you the components of a perfect trading plan and also a successful trading plan these are the things i took to consideration when i drafted out my own personal swing trading plan i'm a swing trader so i have a swing trading plan and i know some people want me to share my trading plan with them no i won't share it with you except you are we are meant you are a member of the mentorship program so if you are a member of the mentorship program here yeah, you are lucky so you get you can have a you can see my trading plan okay all right so that is it on all you need to do so but let me just show you an sample of a trading plan this is how your trading plan should look like it needs to be so simple and straight to the point like for this one i actually crafted this trading plan for 
one of our mentorship guys who is a day trader on this screen here you are not seeing everything about the trading plan because i know so many people want to copy it so all right so uh we have you just write it this way i will only trade london and new york session i will close any open trades at new york close in new york session close i won't trade around important news events like nfp interest rate decision and the rest of them i will only trade pays that are trending i will only trade pays that offer a good spread so you just need to put up when write them out this way and it will make trading very very simple for you and very very sweet you can also see um the uh, how how he's going to manage the losses and profits you see i will move sl to break even when price moves 50 percent in my favor that is managing profits running profit and uh, i will trade i will enter a maximum of five trades a day no matter what so once he takes five trades in a day as a day trader he's done for the day so and if he lo if he loses three trades in a row he will stop trading for the day so it's as simple as that you make your trading plan so so simple this will be your guide if you want to last long in this business for 10 years 20 years so all you just need to do is keep reviewing reviewing the trading plan making some um, tweaks to it and also this will help you make some um, tweaks and correction to your trading strategies too so it's that simple i hope you have learned a lot from this video if you have learned a thing or two from this video like this video don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel and turn on the notification bell and also if you have any questions and there are things you don't understand comment below this video and also send me a message on whatsapp here is my phone number and this is my only contact detail this is my only phone number so you can call me at any time and you can also send me a message on whatsapp then follow us on all social media platform trade a plus trading hub on youtube on facebook on instagram and on twitter so thank you for taking out time to go through this lengthy piece and i urge you to take actions take actions immediately because when you take actions and start creating this trading plans today i guarantee you in the next two three months you see progress you see profits you see joy and happiness in your trading you won't get bored trading because you want to be trading every day because you are seeing money too every day <laughs> so thank you my name remains Ani Betasa and I'm not a forex guru don't forget to subscribe to the channel a plus trading hub Take care of yourself. Bye.